Hello, this is the Castle Quick Tip. Uh, this uh, tutorial is intended to show you how to run demo mode. Uh, I've turned on the Castle Link. This is the screen that comes on. I'm not plugging in the Castle Link to the PC. And uh, I can go here and uh, I can click on the controllers drop down menu that I want to pull up. I'm going to go to the Phoenix i-series it's our new controllers click on demo mode <coughs> and I can go through and look at the features of the controller um, everything's defaulted so I'm going to go in click helicopter go into governor mode set RPM and it's uh, basically going to run just like it would if you had uh, your controller plugged in so basically I want to go in and I'm one in and see some gear ratio information so uh, I'm going to go in and put the uh, vertigo motor on a TRX 500 and uh, just want to look and see a, see uh, some head speeds okay and I'm going to come back over here um, I've got 6s mm -hmm. I entered I've got my gear ratios I want to see what head speed I can run? I'm gonna get around uh, 2675 from my highest head speed. Yeah, 94.8. That's perfect. Uh, it allows you to run between 70 and 95. Um, let's see. So I can come in here and I can put in uh, just say 2600 and then 2500. This kind of lets me go in and see the uh, the low head speed. It's going to be about 88%, 88.6, and then this is just telling me that everything will work good uh, for governor mode. You can come right through. It's a helicopter, so all this will be grayed out on the brake. Cutoffs. I like to use insensitive. Um, you notice it says 80 here. Um, that that's kind of you know depending on what controller you're using. Um, again, this is just a demo mode. Lets you come through and check out all the features. Um, I can go to my motor tab. I can change the timing. Um, you got Outrunner um, <clears throat> under the PWM rate, and uh, that's what I want to run on this particular motor. I also like to go in and turn off uh, the power on beep. I like to disable that. And uh, you can hit any of these little blue question marks, and they they tell you what what the uh, descriptions are here. Um, basically, there's a uh, there's a beat that uh, that comes on uh, every 20 seconds um, if the SC is left neutral, which means basically if you don't move the throttle or or touch anything uh, with it sitting on the ground, you know, just say you come in, you turn your radio off if you have your fail safe set properly. It's going to go to zero throttle. Um, you know, that's one thing you need to watch. I'll cover that in another video. But uh, always make sure your failsafe is defaulted to zero throttle. That way, if you were to turn the transmitter off, gosh, even the battery was to fall out of the transmitter. <laughs> that's not likely to happen. But if it did, uh, you would be covered. Um, okay, this is just a quick little tutorial to tell you how to uh, work on the. Uh, demo mode and you can go through and look at everything so uh, um, you can save the settings that you've done or you can load settings um, you know for example I'll load, a, load some settings um, here's one that I've got saved uh, on my computer I'm going to load this up uh, here's a T-Rex 500 3.2 uh, firmware with 13 tooth pinion. I like to save things uh, with the name and a little information in it. We can go in here and you can see I've got everything set already. I uh, ended up running high governor gain. Uh, I was running auto rotation with a custom spool up of 14. Um, I'll cover more of that in another video. Uh, this is a castle quick tip. Uh, I hope this uh, helps. Thank you.